You are in a Navy vessel exclusion zone. Reverse course immediately or I will fire upon you. There is a Navy vessel protection zone in force around this vessel. What you just heard was a recording broadcast through a magnetic acoustic device. A speaker so powerful, voice messages can be heard clearly from miles away. Hi, I'm Jim McKay with Government Technology Magazine. We're in Southern California with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and we're getting a first-hand look at some of the new gadgets and technologies being tested here that might change the way police work is done in the future. The magnetic acoustic device that you just heard has the potential to replace conventional hailing devices used in the law enforcement and public safety arenas. Just imagine our search and rescue scene and a helicopter equipped with one of these devices calling out to potential victims who can hear the calls from miles away. But there's an amazing counterpart to this technology as well. They call it the Big Ear, and with a flip of a switch, this device can detect and amplify voice responses from miles away, making it possible to hear the voice or movements of a survivor buried in the rubble. This technology can also be used for crowd control and offers law enforcement the ability to recreate sounds or startle tones, like fingers on a chalkboard, and use it as a non-lethal means of scaring a suspect out of hiding. What are the implications of this technology? Well, in the first place, this is it, it, it replaces conventional hailing devices with the ability to go farther and clearer. The second thing is, is that uh, we have the ability of using it as a non-lethal option for the simple reason is, is we can use frequencies that are, uh, are sensitive to the human ear but not necessarily require a huge amount of energy and it's not dangerous uh, as you've already experienced. And the last thing is, is that uh, the ability of being able to listen as well as speak through the same uh, device gives us an ability to, uh, to use it as a non-collaborative communication device, especially, for instance, in rescues. As controversy continues to follow the use of the taser gun, law enforcement is searching for non-lethal means to subdue combative suspects. One potential tool is the pepper gun. The pepper gun fires pellets filled with pepper powder. The pellets detonate on impact, incapacitating the suspect. The LED incapacitator is another tool for non-lethal intervention. This tool uses LED technology to cast a beam of sharp red, green, and blue light so intense as to make the subject physically ill. Surveillance is an important component of law enforcement work, and the Nighthawk is a miniature spy plane that offers law enforcement the capacity to spy on a subject from the air. The Skyseer is another promising spy tool. This kite-like device can spy on a subject for an hour at an altitude of 200 or more feet where it's hardly visible, all the while streaming video to a computer or laptop as it flies. Unlike the Nighthawk, which was developed by the military for the military, the Skyseer was developed specifically for law enforcement and could be ready for prime time soon. The pole cam is simply a wireless camera attached to a pole. A simple but potentially life-saving device, it has the ability to allow police to peek around corners, survey the inside of a building before entering, or see what's on a rooftop without exposing themselves to danger. And finally, the dragon egg. This egg-shaped camera can be thrown through windows, through window screens, and over fences. It always lands upright and streams 360 degrees of simultaneous video coverage back to the computer. It's another way police can find out what's on the other side of a wall or inside of a building without risking their lives. These are just a few of the many technologies that could find their way into the hands of local law enforcement sometime soon. This has been Jim McKay with GTTV.